Up next, we've got Amelia with DataViz for Nonprofits, who's going to give you some tips on how you can up your DataViz game in 2023. I'm Amelia Kong. Great to be with you today. So what are you doing wrong on social media? In short, you're not deploying data visualization in your posts. When I produce nonprofit posts, I mostly see bad photos. I don't know if they're generated by AI or not, but they're bad. Headshots, stock images, only some of which cl clearly relate to the text, or no image at all. So Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn are like crowded highways packed with billboards. If we add charts, maps, and graphs to our billboards, we can both grab attention and say something meaningful. But the image and message should be simple and clear to travelers zooming by. So what types of data visualizations, again, charts, graphs, and maps, work best in social media? I'm here to give you four to consider. Number one is maps. If the map shows a geography we already know, like I'm in the U.S., so I'm showing you the U.S., or your own city, we have a lot of prior knowledge that we can apply. This makes maps easy to digest on the fly. We look for our own location. We compare east to west, cities to rural areas. Consider showing the distribution of the need you are addressing, the location of your clientele, or where you're providing services using the ends or bands also make good social media content. So B-A-N stands for big S number. Just one large number can capture attention. The BANs shown here are from Women Will, which is a Google initiative focused on economic empowerment for women. They won a Shorty Award, which honors the best content creators on social media. Think about what single number you might want to share that could spark interest in your work and consider adding a link from your BAN post to a chart that provides more context and detail for that number. Here's another idea, line graphs. So line graphs are familiar. Many show change over time. So if we make it clear what is changing, here it's the number of deaths. And over what period of time, we can tell a quick and powerful story without much more than an angled line. But keep it simple with only one line, or you could show multiple lines, but highlight only one in color and gray out the west. Consider, for example, showing how the need for your services or your impact has changed over time. And finally, bar charts are usually a good option for social media posts. Bar charts are trusted friends. We get them. When deploying bar charts, use color strategically to encourage a comparison of a target group to comparison groups. This post from the World Wildlife Fund is a follow-up to an earlier post which asks followers a question. This post gives them the answer in a simple bar chart and shows them what percent of followers guessed each answer. You can see that on the right. So I hope I've given you a few ideas for your next post. If you want more ideas for better using and showing your data, please sign up for my blog, 60 Second Data Tips, or my website, nonprofitviz.com. Each week, you'll get a brief tip to help you up your data game. And I'd be happy to talk with you about your data and how best to visualize it in dashboards, presentations, reports, and websites. Feel free to schedule a free consultation on my website, which again is nonprofitviz.com. And I've enjoyed our very brief time together. Thank you.